Ugh, so many bills. No wonder these guys don't have a place to live. It's so crazy that we don't have universal basic income already. You said something wrong, I'm here to correct you! <laughs> Did you know that the CEO of OpenAI, Sam Altman, just ran a whole UBI experiment in Denver? No, but that sounds cool. What did they do? They gave three groups of homeless people money with no strings attached and tracked them for a year. For example, the people in Group A were given $1,000 a month, and by the end of the study, 44% were living in an apartment or house. Well, that sounds great. I was sure you were going to tell me that it was all a terrible idea. But... There it is. It turns out that every cohort in the study experienced roughly identical results. Group B was given $6,500 in month one and then $500 a month for 11 months. 48% of those people were housed by the end of the study. Group C was given just $50 a month for 12 months. This was essentially the control group since all groups of homeless people were still getting regular check-ins the entire time. 43% of those folks were housed at the end of the study. Oh. While it sure seems like UBI had a significant impact, the nearly identical percentages across each group, including the control, means there's not much to learn from this study at all. It certainly doesn't prove that giving people more money leads to dramatically better outcomes. At best, it just tells us that roughly half of people who are currently homeless are unlikely to be homeless within a year. But according to the National Alliance to End Homelessness, only 22% of people are typically still homeless after one year. But didn't you say that in the Denver UBI study, 65% of participants still were? Yeah, which, you know, isn't actually that great. And at the same time, according to the NIH and data from the Office of National Drug Control Policy, 30% of the homeless struggle with severe mental illness. For example, homeless people are more than 42 times more likely to be schizophrenic, and actually up to 71 times more likely to experience depression than the general public. Likewise, the National Coalition for the Homeless found that 55% of homeless people are alcohol dependent, which is five times more than the general population, and 25% reported being dependent on other harmful substances. So basically, it's too complicated a problem to just throw money at. Exactly. There are way too many underlying issues that need to be dealt with. Whoa! Did you guys see that San Francisco just converted a luxury high-rise into $600,000 condos for homeless people? I wonder how that'll turn out. That's fantastic! Sarah, you just agreed we can't throw money at these things. Yeah, but what if it's a lot of money? Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, please subscribe, and to learn more, go to fee.org.